So far, we've been working with numbers almost entirely. Some of the operators we discussed work for other types as well, like strings. There are ones that obviously don't apply. I mean, it's not like I can add the strings hello in world. Or can I? When this program is run, it prints out hello world as you can see in the console. The plus sign can also be used to combine strings as seen here. This is called concatenation. To clear things up, this is, this is the only one of the operators discussed in the previous lesson that can be used for strings, with the trivial exception of the assignment operator, because you cannot divide strings, multiply strings, or anything like that. It's also worth noting that in the print statement, we are adding them together but not storing them to a variable. This means that the print statement is printing out what is in here, which is hello plus world, hello world, but it's not being saved anywhere. So first half and second half are still the same, and there are no variables. Moving on, there are also predefined functions that can operate on variables. They can be used on constants, but they're more useful with variables. We've already seen an example of one of these with the print function. To start using some of the math functions we're going to go over, we're going to tell the program that we're using them. This is called importing, because when you want your program to be as small as possible, certain things are left out if not every program uses them. When you do need them, you have to tell the computer so. To import the math functions, type import math at the top of your program. Here we have a math function which prints out the square root of 15. There exist many functions for doing math in your programs. Let's go over some a bit quicker. Here we have, in order, the natural logarithm, the sine, e to the x, literally, and special constant function that return pi and e. Strings also some useful functions, but we need to import them with import string. These functions, in order, print out the upper and lowercase alphabet, the base 10 digits, the base 16 digits, and the base 8 digits, as can be seen when you run it. In the next lesson, we'll talk about a new type of variable, the boolean. The assignment for this lesson is to use the math functions to calculate the fourth root of a number and the log of, of sine of a number. <laughs>